Welcome back everybody to Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm an old guy gaming and we are going to continue our adventure here uh, in uh, this awesome, awesome game. Uh, we're still in Valentine. I haven't uh, played at all since, you know, I left you guys in the last episode. And so what I want to do is, at least for the first part of this episode, is I want to still kind of hang out here. Uh, one of the viewers in the last episode hey. suggested that, hey, how's it going? Howdy, partner. Uh, suggested that if we kind of look in and around the, the shops here in town, we might find some goodies. So we started to do that towards the end of the last episode, but I didn't, uh, I haven't really looked at anything uh, beyond the saloon here. So let's just do that first, and then uh, we'll probably Not head back to camp. Um, think oh, about maybe doing a little more home. hunting too, and just maybe a little more exploring so that we can. Uh, Bring the uh, the carcasses, the skins, whatever, into town and sell them the for some money because we donated everything expect? to camp. And the camp was doing pretty good food wise the last time we checked. Uh, so yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right, I'm gonna have to yeah. route that sound Let me get through. a little Jesus. differently. Um, what the hell is this? So okay, and welcome, Dan. By the way, good to see you, man. So what? I had at one point I had a um, a lantern. But I don't know what, what happened to it. Sure wish my mouse would show up. I don't know why it doesn't. Let me try a tab out and then back in. Does it show up now? No, it doesn't. Man, what a pain in the neck. Okay, well, we're just going to have to make do, I guess. So let me look in my backpack and see if it's in here. If we had it, it would be in here. We got a camera, we got Binox, we got. I think the two things are gun oils. We got a clock or a pocket watch, campfire, and a bandana. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, I was trying to buy one last last time, actually, now that I remember, and uh, we couldn't. The guy at the store there didn't have one for sale, so hopefully we'll come across one at some point. So I apologize if it's a little dark. But what's a cowboy to do, right? What's a cowboy to do? Oh, that's okay, I'll man. No worries. Um, that's something I could probably turn down to my chat bot, but I'd have to turn it down for each individual introduction, so I'm not going to mess with that right now. Okay, let's take a look uh, behind the, each one of the, you know, the little stores or shops here and just see if we can find anything. Arthur's just kind of looking around, being a little bit nosy, but he's actually scoping out his surroundings. He's casing the place because, you know, he might want to rob it later because that's what Arthur does. Yep. What are you well. guys doing? Oh well. I'm itching to hurt you. Hey! What? You're gonna what? die. Get out of this. Oh, wax is good. Easy there. Okay, how come my block times. keys aren't working? All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. I remapped those to my mouse and they don't seem to be working now. So let's take a look. Those guys are rude. Just because I got right up in their face, no reason to start I'm punching a guy. Can't believe it. Okay, let's go to key mapping here. Select. There we go. Okay, so let's see. For punching and blocking, I thought we mapped that to our mouse keys. Yeah, wasn't that contact action, context action two? Hmm, I wonder if that didn't actually map over. Well, we're going to get the tar beat out of us now. It never ends. Okay, yeah, it didn't map over, so it's still the keyboard. I do not like where they've placed these on the keyboard. They just don't feel natural to me. Ah, oh, doggone it. We got it. We lost the point of our honor for that. We didn't even do a dat gum thing. What the heck, man? So it did map those action keys to my to my mouse, but it didn't. Uh, wait, what am I? What? No, I don't want to wear that. It, uh, but it didn't translate over to the 
the fighting keys. <laughs> okay, well, what can you do, right? What can you do? We got ourselves a, a fat lip out of that deal because the doggone computer didn't uh, map things correctly. It ain't our fault. Well, I wasn't even trying to fight them guys. They attacked me. <laughs> so, all right, well, whatever. Let's move on. I am maybe probably not supposed to be messing around back here. I can't but. prove it, but the bank's stealing my money. I swear, every time I walk out of there, my ledger's lower and lower. <sighs> not the first time. You think those guys want to start a fight with us? You know what I want to do, too, is I want to do some bounty hunting. Anything up here? Yep. People are still talking about that fight. I ain't. Fair enough. Not as Tommy. Anyway, how can I help you today? What? <laughs> Sounds like someone inside the building was talking to Arthur, but I didn't quite follow what they were saying. Okay, we have to wait until morning before we can get in there. Hello, fellas. How y'all doing Mister? tonight? Oh, this is gunsmith store. Okay. We'll have to check this what out. What reason you guys get so damn close? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Jeez. You guys are so uptight. We tight. got a problem or something? Can I go in here or is it too late? Oh. That's right. Learn some damn respect. You better be careful. Don't talk to me that way. I'm Arthur Morgan. You know that, don't you, pal? Should I hit him, Dan, or not? How, <laughs> how many fights do I get in before a, a bounty goes out of my head? Because, you know, he he was kind of rude to us. Yeah, some fellers rode to... We could shoot him. That probably wouldn't be a good idea, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you see what I got in my hand here, pal? You see? Don't mess with me. Showed them. <laughs> okay, let's head on down. So let's see, we got a saloon, another saloon over here, so there's two saloons in town. Hello there. Pardon me, partner. Let's go check this out over here. What's that guy doing? Oh, is he he's puking? I, I, I've been thinking. Why can't drinking be a job? Oh. That's gross. <laughs> Why can't drinking be a job? Is that what he said? Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah. There's a puppy. How you doing, boy? That's a good boy. <laughs> okay. So there is a guy in that saloon we could go talk to. Don't know if we're going to do that right this moment, but uh, we'll keep that in mind. This looks like somebody's house over here. I wish they'd hurry up and get on with it. Good, good morning, mister. I know. <laughs> morning. Enough of the prologue. Let's get to the main act. Who's talking? Done ten minutes ago and had time to clean my boots. All right. <laughs> oh, it's gonna happen. Look at them. They're all over each other. Oh, there's they're three sheets to the wind, I reckon. <laughs> yeah. What is that thing they're smoking anyway? Beats me. Sure don't look like tobacco. <laughs> it's interesting because my mini map on, mister. down in the lower left hand corner shows that kind of He's white pulsating thing. Cues. I guess that means so I'm in their audible. Uh, audible range or something? Watch. Here, let's see if we can watch too. <laughs> Come on, let's make tracks. This is going nowhere. What the heck's going on in here, man? Oh, look. Oh, let's see. They're, oh, they're I getting high. Gloriously fuddled now. I feel so light and heavy. At the same time. They're probably smoking opium. Oh! Hello, we're getting bad points. You. Okay, what here, let's leave. Oh. I'm losing honor, man. Shouldn't have done that. Shame on me. I'll change my ways. Promise. 
tomorrow. Okay, so the train station's over that way. We got a barn stable area, maybe that way. Let's go over here. Howdy. I ain't forgotten your brand of trouble. What did I do? <laughs> I'm already getting Enjoy a bad morning, reputation. Mister. You're gonna back off and give me some space? All right, all right. You're fixing to make me mad, huh? R relax, partner. I like your mustache, dude. You can chew. Okay. It's amazing how a man can get himself in trouble when he's not even really trying to. Any herbs around here we could pick? If I start the fight, okay. Well, I haven't started any fights. Those guys hit those guys hit me first, I think, or maybe I hit him first. I don't remember. I was still trying to fuddle with the controls on my mouse. This is just the upper floor of that saloon, right? Okay. Come on, sir. Try to remember what really happened at Soviet Saloon back in '76. Just a lot of fun. Keen Saloon. Okay. I'm not ready to, to to do that mission yet. I just want to finish kind of exploring the town here first. All right, so we got a church here. I have a feeling that Arthur uh, doesn't darken the door of churches very often, if ever. Reverend Isaac Hampton. Go around this way. That's not the widow you told me about last time. A oh, window. What window was that, um, Dan? I don't remember. There's the sheriff's office. You know, I said this before uh, in the last episode, I think. I wish there was a, a speed in between Arthur just walking and him, like, running full bore. It's a little slow when he walks, and he's a little fast when he goes, you know, full on. And what is that, like, solitary confinement or something? Knock? Nah, let's not mess with that right now. We might actually end up in that place later. In, the, in, in a bad way, you know? <laughs> oh, the doctor's office. Okay. Well, we might just have to go take a peek in the window at the doctor's office because Big Dan's telling us uh, there might be something over there. Got some hogs over there. I think this is the back of the store, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's see. Where is the doctor's office? We got the saloon, the store. Help wanted. Drugs. Okay, here we go. Turned yourself a reputation around here. Got a lot of eyes on you, make no mistake. Hey, Leyland, how are you doing? Okay, this is unavailable due to your recent actions in the vicinity. Return at a later time. Well, doggone it. Arthur? How many times I tell you, don't go poking your nose in business that don't belong to you? For Pete's sake. Okay, this is the window in the back of the doctor's office. Oh. Like I say, you found a hidden operation at the doctor's office. You can now rob the shop's side business. Oh. Aim weapon? Wait, what? He didn't... He didn't look long enough for me to tell exactly what was happening in there. What was going on in there, Dan? 
because it won't let me look again. You're doing good, you guess? <laughs> well, I hope I hope that's uh, what's going on with you. Matt, how you doing, bud? Thanks for stopping by. It's good to see you. Hey, Dan, what what were they doing in there? Uh, because it didn't let me look for long enough to, to tell. Now it wants me to aim my weapon, but I don't know what I'm shooting at exactly. Yeah. I mean, I, I could sure shoot that guy, but it, I don't know. I don't know why I'm shooting him. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh, is that what it is? It's an illegal bookie. Okay. All right, well, um, it said we could come back and rob the place at some point, so maybe we'll do that later. I kind of have a feeling like I shouldn't be getting myself into all this trouble right at the moment. i tell you what, let's go see if we can still talk to this guy in the saloon over here, even though we got a bad rep now. I just want to get a drink. I'm parched. Perhaps Benin. Damn it. Give a fellow a nickel. Morning, mister. Morning. <laughs> yeah, let's go on in here. We got hot food. Come on, sir. Try to remember. What really happened at Sylvia's saloon back in 76? Just a lot of bunk, Plato. It's just a lot of bunk. It's not bunk, Mr. Calloway, sir. It's history. Ancient history, done and dusted. The dead got off lucky, the living got to keep suffering. Same as always. But did you shoot the Newton twins? I don't give a pig's penis about the Newton twins. One of them was a girl, anyhow. But you had been friends back in 73. You rode the Alabaster Trail together. Funny thing about pig's penises. They're curly, like their tails. <laughs> <laughs> Put that in your fucking book, Plato. <sighs> this isn't going very well. Apparently not. This is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Lucy Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. How's that going? I think I'd prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. <laughs> well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The jaws of gunslinging. It's win-win, freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm going to write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. <laughs> All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame? <sighs> I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. Okay, then forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it, and, well, there's a whole list of gun hey, Sal, welcome, Flacco dude. Hernandez. Sorry about the volume. Billy guys, Midnight. I'll have to fix that later. Black Bell. Never heard of him. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Calloway. Any of them get uppity, shoot him. I can't believe I just said that, but... You want me to go and find some sad, deluded fools like him, ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot him? It does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to him. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. Here or some other flop house. Inspect the photographs for details of the gunslinger's location. Hey 
All right, cool. So we got ourselves like a little ongoing side quest. So he just gave us a camera, but we already had a camera. So do we have two now? Can we sell one? Let's take a look-see. No, we still only have just one camera. That's weird. Okay. Sal, how you doing, man? It's good to see you. It's been a while, hasn't it? Appreciate it. You like my hat, Layla? It's awesome, isn't it? You have to start calling calling me Eastwood Old Gamer. There you go. <laughs> the good, and bad, and the old guy gamer. I like it. I like it. Oh, pardon me. Okay, so um, let's see here, guys. I'm actually going to take a very quick break for just a second. I'm going to see if I can um, adjust that volume issue. What happened with the announcements? Uh, so I will be right back. Don't go away. All right, so uh, we're back. I had a little technical thing I had to take care of there. So. So we let's see. He gave us a, a bunch of photos that we uh, need to go find these gunslingers and ask them if Huzma was it over there was the best gunslinger. And if they get uppity, then we're supposed to shoot them. What are you doing? Oh, you're selling newspaper. Can we buy a newspaper from him? Look where you're going. Want to buy a paper? Sure. Twenty-five cents. New Hanover Gazette, the heart of the heartlands. Uh, yeah, let's buy it. That might be some interesting reading. Oh, speaking of which, we've got a journal update we got to go through, too, at some point. Next time. Get your news here, Valentine. You have already bought all currently available newspapers. Yeah, okay. So here, here's what I want to do. Let's go... Let's go into the gun store for a minute. Just take a look. Mm, do come in. Well, I use this space as a blacksmith, too, so let me know if you need me to grab something for you from the catalog. All the trouble in Valentine late, and people are starting to talk about the curse again. Oh, the curse, huh? Sounds like we got another quest. Okay, let's take a look at the catalog. Just kind of ah, see what's available. See. Okay, so we got revolvers, pistols, repeaters, rifle, shotguns, ammunition, and accessories. So one of the things the game has is, you know, better quality ammunition. So there's like the high velocity type and so on and so forth. These are uh, revolver, pistol, express. I think the... Yeah, we got high velocity and we have express. It seems to me that they need so many guards of Cornwall, kerosene, and tar. Must be something else going on there. Box of high velocity ammunition that improves ranged damage and target penetration. So that's almost sounds like armor piercing. And then what what is this? A box of express ammunition providing incredible stopping power contains 30 cartridges. So this sounds like like a hollow point. That must be what what the difference is there. Okay. Um interesting. I don't know that we're going to buy any of that now we've got forty dollars and sixty three cents i'm not Take really sure if that's considered a decent amount him. of money yet or not He's we'll have to just kind of see how things go let's take a look and see what kind of piss or revolvers are avail available so we already have the cattleman right now then we got the double action uh read this is by D.D. Packenbush. It's 38 caliber self-cocking manual ejection mechanism. We are pleased to offer you a direct from the D.D. Packenbush factory an automatic shell ejecting 38 caliber revolver under the promise guarantee that is superior well, in every way in the west of the east, to any like furnished by the revolver makers. Folks stocking up on bullets and weapons. Some of them may belong to a gang. Hey, how would I know? I'm trying to read this and hear what he's saying at the same time. Um, so this is a revolver that ejects the cartridge? That's, that's weird. Huh. The revolver is revered by the Army and Navy who attest that the cylinder catch and barrel latch make for easy shell extraction and loading in the field. So we have faster reloading with this, I guess. Manufactured from the finest decarbonized steel procurable, every inch of this weapon is of the highest quality. Well made and well finished. Incredible shooting quality. Whether downing a pheasant or dispatching wildlife. That's a lot of stuff to read. 
So what? What Every if you guys are interested on uh, on YouTube? If you're interested in reading through this, you can just pause the screen. But um, that's that's too much to read while we're live here. So uh, the gist of it is that it looks like it's a, a faster loading weapon. Uh, the damage is actually less than the cattleman. So this is really what we want to look at down here. The range is the same. It has a little bit faster fire rate, faster reload, which we kind of figured, but it's less accurate. So okay. More bounty posters that go up, the more people flock to my shop. Schofield Revolver. That, Valentine. There's a job in five miles of here. I don't know about Okay, so this is the... You the, live out here. You keep that we, handy. Dude, will you quit talking? I'm trying to, I'm trying to do this here. <laughs> okay, so this is the damage of our cattlemen. So the Schofield has a little more damage. Uh, how's it compare on the range? The range is the same. Let's check the fire rate. Got le a slower fire rate. Same reload, accuracy, a little bit better. Okay, so that's $84. Plus, it's locked. I, I don't know what that Real lock nice means. That. Not sure what that's supposed to mean. The Volcanic Pistol uh, does a little more damage, I think, than our Cattleman. Quite a bit more damage, actually. Range is the same. Fire rate is slower reload is slower accuracy is a little better okay I sold my old blunderbuss to a bounty hunter last week <laughs> that boy's out looking to get someone that's for sure oh look at this semi-automatic pistols a mauser yeah i would expect the damage on these to be less but you know fire rate and that sort of thing to be better Okay, now we come into the repeaters here. Carbon repeater. What do we... Oh, this is what we have right now. Okay. So we own that. The Evans is less damage, yeah, same repeater, range, a so. little bit better fire rate, less reload, same accuracy. So... The only thing that's better about this weapon than the one we have is the fire rate. But it's quite a bit more money, so yeah, I don't think we'll be buying that. Lancaster Repeater. This does pretty good damage, this Litchfield. Varmint Rifle. Springfield Rifle. Man, there's so, I, I could spend hours just reading through this stuff, you guys. It's so cool. Night. I can't recall who won that, though. Damn. This is uh this must be like a, a sniper rifle, a rolling block Putting rifle. Something big up your sleeve there, huh? Yeah, that puts that's a major damage, but very, you know, slow fire rate and reload. So yeah, that would be a sniper. This is a bolt action, so it's probably looks like that's a bit of a more of a long range too, so that would be good for hunting probably. Carcano rifle. That's also a sniper rifle too. I won't ask. Sawed off shotgun, we got that. A double barrel and a pump action. Semi auto shotgun, repeating shotgun. Oh, okay, so this one is like a lever action. Cool. All right, neat. Well, um, we're going to just kind of continue using the guns we currently have for now, but um, it's nice to see what's available. Now, well, there's. All right, this will be here when you need it. Okay. There's another thing. There's a customize. What does that do? Oh, nice. You keep okay. That like your own child, all right? Good on you. Oh, this I bet is this awesome. Will shoot better with some new sides. So we can like mod our weapons. Oh, I love that. Okay, so um, I, I guess we just pay him, and he that gives us better accuracy. Okay, let's go back for a second. So this is all just fancy pants stuff here. That doesn't change the performance of the weapon. I kind of like its own, you know, the grip it has already anyway. It I looks pretty good. I do quite a lot of blacksmith work in here too. Okay, let's Don't look at the barrel the options. So a longer barrel is going to give us more accuracy for $12. And then rifling. Improved rifling is going to give us more range. 
Oh, that is cool. Okay, I'm not going to do any of that right now um, until we get a little bit more money, but it's very awesome that we, you know, have the option of... Want to make this really yours? Of doing Give it that. A personal engraving. Oh, personal engraving. Awesome, man. Check that out. This is so cool. We can change the, the barrel and everything. Okay, so that's just fancy pants stuff. Carvings. Oh, look at that. That's cool, man. If that love paper it. boy stays at that post next to my shop any longer, I may lose it. Very dangerous for a gunsmith to snap. <laughs> so we can change the varnish on the handle, too. That is fantastic. All right, I wanted to look at the engravings. So... Okay, so that's on the on the actual metal of the gun. Hmm. Yeah, that's neat, man. That is neat. Okay, we're going to have a lot of fun with this stuff for sure. Oh, so you're saying the 22 rifle will give us more money for small pr uh, prey, probably because it doesn't damage the hide as much? Is that what the deal is? Well, okay, let's let's look and see what it costs again. I wasn't paying real close attention. Let's have a look in here. Cause we we were um we shot some turkeys and stuff like that, so a, <laughs> a farm it's nightmare. I don't have enough money, bud. Uh we'll we'll keep that in mind though. Definitely keep that in mind. I have a feeling like our our, you know, our occupation, at least early on in the game, is going to be hunting. Yeah, never mind. Because, you know, shot. we'll get pelts and stuff and, and come into town and sell it all. Are we supposed to go back here? Hey, wait! Get oh. back! Oh, sorry, now sorry. Off sorry, 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 sorry. Don't worry about it. Jeez, man. You're a little bit uptight, pal. Can we get uh, better bows? Okay. I keep it down. Understand? <laughs> Thank you. Everybody's really? irritated with me, man. I'm just trying to check things out. Goodness. We don't need more trouble from you here. I'm trying not to cause any more trouble, pal. All right. Well, I'll tell you what, guys. I think we've dilly-dallied long enough here in town. Um, so much stuff to do, man. So much stuff to do. Uh, so let's do this. Uh, let's look at our map for a second here. Three times as much for small prey. Okay. Yeah, we'll keep that in mind, man. I think what we need to do is go out and, and do some actual hunting and come back and, you know, sell so we can increase our money. Um, we also need to increase, though, our storage space because I have pretty limited storage space. So we got a bunch of stuff here. That Oh, that's a show. Okay, so like a, like a play or something, I'm guessing. This is uh, this little cleaver here guy. This is the guy that we can sell meat to. That's our hoss. Newspaper. What's this? That's a saloon. Doctor. This one became unavailable to us because... Oh, because we started the fight in there, right? Well, I don't. we didn't start it, but maybe we did. I don't know. <laughs> and then this is the general store. Hey Dan, here's a question for you. How do I how do I get a hold of a lantern for nighttime? Let's go back to the store and take one last look, but I wasn't able to purchase a, a lantern from this guy. Is that something I can craft? Back for some more provisions. Have a look around. I need a lantern there, partner. Let's check the catalog again. Does this catalog change at all, or is it always going to be the same stuff? I can get you anything in there you need. So, I mean, I don't even see anything in here that would fall under the category of lantern. Let's look at clothing for a second. Yeah, those hats are expensive. Being the main store in town, people come to depend on you. 
Western hat. That looks like Dutch's hat. Big Valley hat. That's what I'm wearing right now. That's it's the Big mighty Valley. That's popular these days. Ooh, I kind of like the Bulldogger hat. We can see different colors and stuff. Seem to have your eye on that. Okay. It's 9.50, so we're not going to buy it right now, but we'll keep it in mind. Oh, you you think we'll, we'll get one later? Okay. Well, the, the game gave me one at the very beginning, um, you know, when we were out up in the mountains in the snow. But somehow it disappeared, and I don't know how it disappeared, so maybe it was just for that part of the story. All right. Um, Feller was telling me the daughter at Emerald Ranch don't leave the house no more. Been locked in up there for a couple of years now. Well, it's always here if you want to take another look. Okay, so these little um, tidbits that these guys are giving us will probably turn into side quests, I'm thinking, at some point. All right, well, we'll, we'll just uh, see what happens then in terms of getting ourselves... A torch. Let's look at the map again for a second. Uh, so the yellow circles are the quest things. So we still have the Reverend here at Latinx Station. We've got three potential quests here back at the camp. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so I think what we should do is let's just go out and do a little more hunting. Um, and so we can make a little more money. Why is this unavailable? Stagecoach. Post office. So it says the stagecoach is, is locked. Is it just because we haven't discovered it yet? Uh-huh. I don't know. All right, well, let's get on our hoss here. Let's get on Tennessee. You have caused enough trouble around here. I don't think these people like me. We need to get out of here anyways just to, so our reputation calms down. Go on, get going. So... It's just a question now of what trouble with me? <laughs> Sorry, jeez. Um, which direction do we want to go? That's that's a question. We got mountains off that way. Why don't we head east or I'm sorry, let's head west towards the river and just see uh, what kind of trouble we can get ourselves in. Okay, that's good to know. Okay, so it, they're saying if, if you drop something and you forget to pick it up, it just reappears back in your inventory after you sleep at the camp. Okay, well, we'll have to we'll have to try that out. But for now, while we still have some daylight left, let's just go do a little bit of hunting down towards the river. Hopefully we don't run into a mountain lion. <laughs> it didn't go too well for us the last time. Look at this countryside, man. This is awesome. Do a little eagle eye here to see if there are any herbs around. Yeah, there's some right here. I want to get into some crafting too, so... Oh, we already know what this is. This is Yarrow. Okay. Is this something here? Oh yeah, okay, there's something right here. Pick and examine. Oregano, all right, nice. Hold F1 for details. This can be used in oregano plump bird recipe. And uh, yeah, okay. We know what oregano is. Oh, I guess I have to hold that down to get all the way back out of the menu. Okay, there was something else over here, too. Is 
This is yarrow. Uh, what's this white flower here? A wild carrot. I guess we've already discovered that. Wild carrots can be eaten or fed to your horse to replenish your health core. Okay, let's, uh... Do we need to feed our horse? Let's take a look. Show info. No, he seems to be in good shape for food and all that. Ah, sorry, boy. Okay, I'm just kind of looking around to see if there's any tracks or anything. Okay, let's head on down to the river. We'll just get a nice little slow saunter going here so we don't scare anything off and keep our eyes peeled. Oh, you know what? There was one other thing I wanted to look at. Um, let's go back into settings. Now, see, now my cursor's showing up. Uh, controls, keyboard and mouse, key mapping. Uh, no, actually, hold on. I don't want to key mapping. Is there a way here to automatic pin switching? What's that mean? Automatic pin switching? When using the Lamat revolver, choose whether to automatically switch ammo types to use the shotgun shells once the revolver cartridges have been depleted and vice versa. Oh, wow. Tap B while aiming the Lamat revolver to, to toggle between shotgun and revolver firing modes. So there's a revolver that's both a shotgun and a normal revolver? Oh, wow, that's cool. Okay, well, let's not mess with that now. What I wanted to do is... Um, is there a way to set um, dead eye so that I can set it manually? Because it, it, it marks stuff, like, really quick. It's a, it's a little insane. Grind them later, yeah. Okay. Accessibility. Tap and hold control. Aiming mode. Hold to aim. What are the other options? Toggle to aim. Uh, no, I like hold to aim. Tap to hold to delay. Okay, what's this mean? Adjust the time that the game will take to distinguish a button tap from a button hold. Oh, okay. Tap assist. Allows tap and action sequences to be made easier or even turn it into a hold function. Repeated button presses are used in several action sequences in game that require urgency, like punching that big guy that came out of the bar. Allows tap and action sequences to be made easier or even turn it into a hold function. So is that almost like an auto key kind of thing? Huh, I don't know. All right. What does this do? Um, double tap direction key to run, triple tap direction key to sprint. While running, sprinting, release direction key and repress to change between speeds. That might... That might be kind of what I was talking about earlier about how he just walks slow and then all of a sudden runs really fast. Tap and hold speed. Okay, single tap to speed up, double tap direction key to run, triple tap direction key. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I'll mess with that later. I don't want to spend a lot of time on camera looking at this stuff, but the main thing I wanted to look at is if we could um, change the dead eye. I'll get better dead eye as it improves. Well, the thing that I don't like about it is. If I move the cursor over a target, it, it goes bam, 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 bam. I mean, it just like goes nutso with the, you know, with the marking. And I just want to know if there's a way that I could apply that manually. Are you saying that that's the part of it that will get better later? Okay. Because um, I'm not seeing anything in here that allows me to actually adjust it. Gotcha. Okay. All right. So it's just because Arthur doesn't have the skill yet. I'm, I'm down with that as long as that's what the deal is. Uh, I want to look at one other thing here really quick.
So we can lock on. I didn't know. I guess I didn't realize that. Or is that something I don't have the ability to do yet? Aim in the air. So it does suggest I can tag enemies here with Q. Huh. But it, it does it automatically. Good gravy, there's so much stuff here. Oh, this is good to know. Okay, so I'm going to have to remember how this does, because I'd much rather just use a hotkey than the stupid wheel for this. Thrown weapon, shoulder long arm. So eight is shoulder long arm. Six is back long arm. Melee is five. And then left side arm is one. Right side arm is three. Okay. Hello, sniper. How are you, man? Thanks for stopping by, dude. That's all I get for now. Okay. And, and again, I'm I'm fine with that. I just I'm just trying to understand how everything works really more than anything else. Here, let's try something though. Let's hop off our hoss. Cinematic camera. How do I go into first person? Um, Dan. Whoops. So one draws our right side arm. Three is supposed to draw our left. Four is unarmed. Five draws our knife. What? How did we get a lantern? So when I when I press five, it he pulls the knife out. If I press it again, he puts it away and brings the lantern out. That doesn't make sense. But we do have a lantern. He's pulling that out of our satchel, but it doesn't show up in the satchel. I'm so confused. Let's look at the wheel for a second here. Yeah, see, there's the light. Okay, so this is a... Okay, I get it, I get it. So the five key is this slot, and it'll it'll cycle... It'll cycle whatever uh, is in that slot. So if I have three items there, it'll cycle through those three items each time I push it. I think that's what's happening there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, you only played it on console? Okay. I think that's what's happening, guys. So, yeah, I've got a lantern and a knife assigned to my to that slot and so the five keys just going to cycle through those things but that's good to know because now at least we know we have a light okay so four puts stuff away six doesn't do anything seven brings out my lasso Ooh, that's going to be important to remember okay so seven is lasso um eight is <coughs> squeeze me um we don't have anything in our um our slots here so we probably better do that huh Let's put our rifle here in this slot. I think that's our, uh, yeah, this is our, our shoulder slot. And then here we can put our bow. Oh, you've got to stick a dynamite. Where did we get that from? I don't know. We'll keep our lasso there. And then that's our revolver and our shotgun. Okay. Okay. All right. I think we're, I think we're set now. So, if we do eight, that brings out our rifle. Seven brings out the lasso. Six brings out the bow. Uh-huh, okay. We're learning, you guys. We're getting smarter here. That brings out the knife or the lantern, depending upon how we cycle it. Four puts everything away. Three doesn't do anything unless we had a left sidearm. Two doesn't do anything, and one brings out our right sidearm. Okay. 
And then tapping the tap key will also holster whatever's in our arm. There's a lot to this game, guys. It takes a little while to learn, but once we once we learn it, you know, then we're going to be like, you know, pro pro cowboys here. Hey, that's a lantern knife, dude. It's a very dangerous lantern. <laughs> okay, so let's go down by the river first, and then um, maybe we'll cross it and kind of go up that other side of that ridge there. Um, we need to... We should probably eat something. Our cores are a little bit low, so let's take a look at that really quick. If we go here, and then we switch to here... Um, here's our food. So this moderately stores health core and stamina core. And we need to do that. So let's eat some of those. I can't believe that Arthur litters in this beautiful wilderness, man. He acts just like a gangster. Oh, wait. Okay, so we need to restore some, um, Deadeye core. So chewing tobacco restores Deadeye, but it actually damages the core. So what else do we have here? This restores everything. What is that? A miracle tonic? Okay. Is there something else that just does the dead eye? That's snake oil. Fully restores dead eye and fortifies slightly. Okay, let's have some snake oil. Wait. What did that just do? It almost acted like it damaged the core a little bit. Well, chewing tobacco damages the core. Well, I guess that didn't affect the core at all. Okay. So Miracle Tonic is like the good stuff, man. That, like, gives us everything, right? Okay, so uh, salted beef moderately restores uh, dead eye core. The thing is, though, is we have to be careful about eating because we don't want to overeat or we get fat and then that affects our stamina. So I'm a little bit hesitant about eating too much at this point. Tools for crafting. Oh, that's right. We can make coffee now. We have to, we have, to have the campfire, though. That's all the food we can cook. Hey, uh, Tim Nuttas, thank you very much for the follow, bud. Appreciate it. Welcome to the stream, man. All right, let's go down by the river. Yep. Slowly down by the river. Easy, easy. Take a quick dead eye look, or uh, eagle eye look here. We're just going to go nice and slow so we don't spook anything. Looks like the water is running fairly swiftly down here. Okay, that's good to know. I just, like I said, I want to be careful about not overeating those a thing. Man, I want to try fishing. We got to get ourselves a fishing pole. Okay, let's pick up the pace just a little bit because we're going a touch bit slow here.
I'm just trying to see if I can spot any any fish in the water there. Is that a duck? I think that was a duck. Oh. I just saw like a little trap thing up here. Your horse, oh, your horse is dirty. This will cause its health core to drain faster. Brush your horse or ride it through water to clean it. <sighs> okay. Well, we don't have a brush. Did we buy a brush, Dan? But we have water, so. Does the horse look dirty? Look, it does kind of look a little, a little filthy, doesn't it? Okay. Oh, there's some fish. They don't seem to be very spooked. Doesn't it look awesome, Sniper? <laughs> it looks really good. Dan, do I have to, like, fully submerse the horse or just... Oh, well, I guess we just fully submerse the horse. <laughs> Oh, we didn't get to the stable. Okay. Okay, we'll have to go back there. All right, well, it looks like the little icon appeared saying the horse is clean now, so there you go. Let's take a quick eagle eye look here. Okay, there's... Oh, there's a guy right there. It's starting to get dark, too, unfortunately. Evening, mister. Evening. Howdy, partner. So there's tracks of some sort going here. We also have some herbs. These might be different because they're down by the water, so we should check those out. Pick and examine. Burdock root. Looks like a thistle. Can be crafted into special bitters. Burdock bushes are tall, dark green, leafy bushes and are very easy to spot in the light colored surroundings. Uh, they are found in the western side of the Great Plains region, particularly along the railroad tracks and riverbanks, sometimes near rocks and under groups of trees, but scattered about in general. The root can be consumed or crafted into bitters. Okay. Oh, I keep forgetting. I got to hold the the button down. I think what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to set up a camp here. And uh, we need to get caught up on our journal. Oh, this is something new. Let's check it out. Oh, okay. Uh, wild mint. Can be used in the minty prime beef recipe. Man, I'm getting hungry. <laughs> Wild mint can be identified by their square stems, pale purple flowers, and fragrant leaves. Mint can grow up to 30 inches, making them easy to spot. Plant is common in marshes, among streams, and moist meadows, which makes it popular a popular plant across America. Mint is a popular herb used for seasoning meats. It can also be consumed by itself to increase your health core. Nice. Okay. Okay, are these the same thing? Yeah, I think so. Let's just pick a little bit more mint here. Okay, 
Okay, that's probably good enough for now. All right, it's getting on pretty dark here. I wonder if we should ride up. The last time I tried to camp by the river, it like teleported us to a whole different place. I don't know if it was supposed to do that or what, but I'd like to camp right here. So I'll tell you what, let's do this. Let's go ahead and um, hitch Tennessee to the ground here. And then we're going to just set up camp right here by the river. Uh, so I think we have to go into our satchel for that. So we have some journal reading to do, and we also have those uh, photos of those gunslingers that we can take a look at, too. That's a nice scene. While resting at a campfire, you can access fire crafting. Fire crafting allows you to cook meat and make tonics. Uh, right, so let's go ahead and try that. Ooh, we need to make some coffee, don't we? Let's brew some coffee, you guys. Because we bought ourselves a, a coffee brewer. That's all he does? Okay, pour. And drink. Probably not a good idea for us to be drinking a, a cup of coffee. Ooh, that gave us some dead eye core. Nice. I guess it does tell us right here that it does. I was going to say, though, it's probably not the best idea to be drinking a cup of coffee right before we're ready to go to sleep, huh? But we got to, we got some reading to do first, though. Uh, yeah, you know what? It it did move us away from the water. Why does it do that, Dan? Do you know? I hear coyotes. I see coyotes. All right, you know what? Can I leave this spot? I can Okay, we, we need to get ourselves some coyotes. So, I think what we ought to, we should probably use the bow. Um, so we don't damage the pelt. Okay, you stay here, Tennessee. Is that a... Oh, that's a bighorn sheep there, I think, isn't it? Yeah, that's those are coyotes. Looks like there's an elk over there. Oh, maybe it's a cow elk. No, that is definitely a bighorn sheep over there. Lots of game around. Holy crap. Okay. Uh, I might, maybe might be interested in shooting a bighorn sheep. That's probably worth a lot more money than a coyote. But we're going to need to use this if we're going to shoot a bighorn. Are they, are they chasing after prey? That's a lot of coyotes, man. If they all ganged up on me, that wouldn't be the best thing in the world, would it? It looks like the, the ram just got uh, spooked there. That looks like a turkey. Man, there's game all over the place. All right, let's um, let's check our wind here first of all. Okay, so the wind is perfect. Perfect. Okay, so let's see if we can find that ram. I, I want to get that ram. There's a polecat. Don't want to get too close to him. He might spray us. There's a lot of yodies over there.
There's somebody going by up there on a on a wagon. Okay, I think that's a deer up that way. That's a bird, it says. Are those more turkeys? Hmm. Can't really tell. Let's follow these tracks here. Okay, that critter turned around and went off that direction. Oh. I think that's the bighorn right there. Something's got him spooked, though. Probably those Yodis. Well, that ain't helping with those guys going by on the road there. Let's go around this way. I don't know if that guy will get irritated for us for trespassing on his property, so we probably better steer clear. So, Dan, if we leave our, our campsite back there, does it stay there until we go back and get it, or does it disappear? Adros, what's going on, man? Oh, thank you. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, that was a fun stream. We'll do, we'll be doing more of that for sure. I see you joined up on the Discord too, so welcome, man. It's good to have you. Got something going on up that direction. Here comes somebody else up the road. That ain't going to help our hunting efforts. Okay, there's a buck. I need to get a good shot off. Oh, no, that's a pronghorn, isn't it? No, that's a buck. All right. We'll sell his hide and then, uh, and, and probably sell the meat too in town. A poor buck pelt. Master Hunter one, three of three deer skinned. When you skin or pluck an animal, you take meat for the carcass. You can cook and eat this meat at a campfire to refill your cores. Master Hunter 2 unlocked. Collect three perfect 
quality rabbit pelts. I think we're probably going to need either the uh, the varmint rifle for that. Uh, it did show a, a knife, though. You can track your challenge progress by tapping L to open the log. Oh, okay. Jim, Bo Jim Boy Calloway, the noblest of men and women. This is that. That's that gun uh, gunslinger guy, right? Okay, so these are tasks. These are challenges. I I haven't even looked at this yet. This is cool. Invites. That's probably for multiplayer. You have no pending notifications. So we need to pick. Uh, oh. Okay, we should have picked some more Yarrow. I guess I I forgot I had that. And then um, three perfect rabbit pellets collected. Okay, so that's the next challenge we got to do for Hunter. We probably got a poor buck pelt because I used that eye and shot the thing like four times. <laughs> but it was getting away from us, so. Uh, stow. We've had a, a, a rough couple of weeks of work. Yeah, yeah, I know how that goes, man. I know how that goes. Okay, let's grab the carcass here. Sleep and eat at your main camp, you will get a full dead eye stamina health. Okay. Oh, you had a, a pre ordered war, ho war horse? Oh, that's cool. Okay. No, that, I didn't get any bonus stuff. I just bought the, the base game. You need better hunting skill and a 22 rifle to get perfect skins. You mean just for varmints or for everything? Because I, I wouldn't want to use a 22 on a grizzly. Okay, well, let's go back towards our camp and see if it's still there, just so we know. My guess is that it probably is, but if we then went to use it later, it would just respawn new. Let's get around, what, this way. I thought I hitched that horse. I don't know how to how to hitch the horse without first getting on him. Okay, hold on. So if, normally if you hold E down, which I'm doing, it hitches him, but it ain't doing it now. It's because we're in the camp, maybe? Maybe that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, I'll bet you would. <laughs> you want to see me use a 22 on a grizzly, yeah. I'm sure you do, man. All right, well, um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here. And um, so what we'll do in the next episode is I I'm probably actually going to sleep just a little bit until we get our cores uh, fully restored. Um, and I don't think we need to, to eat at this point, so I don't want to overeat. But what we'll do is we'll sleep for a little bit. Uh, and then in the next episode, we'll go back into Valentine and sell the uh, meat and hide from this deer. And just see how much money we get. And then we'll figure out what the next step is for there. So guys, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, but no spoilers, please. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.